Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Leone. I am a mum to a toddler, Isla, and I am currently expecting baby number two. So this video is going to be number two in my potty training journey. So this is gonna be about tackling potty training outside the home. So my previous video is all about how we started it at home and got into rhythm. And then it's a whole different ball game, isn't it, when you go out traveling. So I'm gonna take you along my journey with um, how I'm tackling that, tips and tricks I've learned and products I'm using. So my first little tip is to get some poppy training pads. I mentioned these in my last video, but you can also put these over on the car seat. I just cut a little slit into the bottom so I can put like the clip bit through it. So it goes quite nicely on the seat. You can also get a reusable or rewashable mat for the car seat. It is in my Amazon basket ready to go. I wanted to see how I get on with the puppy training pads first of all, but I may get that as well, but I'll link everything down below. So we are on day eight now of potty training. The first week has been at home and been pretty successful, but we haven't tackled the out and about bit yet. I really need to go to the shops, so we're going to do it a little quick run. The problem is I haven't actually got half the stuff that I've ordered for going out and about like a travel potty. I've ordered travel knickers, which are a bit different um, to normal knickers, which apparently are really helpful. So I'm going to cheat today, and I'm going to put her in a reusable nappy. Hopefully it's different enough, or it feels different enough from her nappy, that she thinks she's wearing pants um but also if there is an accident we're pretty much covered um the problem is and i said this in my like the first video is that once you start you can't give and can't really give them mixed signals um isla got really distressed on day six i think it was um of um when we went out and we put her in a nappy and she didn't want to go in a nappy because you know all week we've been telling her to go in a potty and don't go in a nappy so hopefully this will give her a little bit of comfort and we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting on some bits and then we're going to do a proper um, out and about potty um, trial. To, I don't know where we're going to take her, maybe to the farm or do a big shop. But we, yeah, we're literally just going to run into Tesco's now. Hey. Yeah, how, how are your knickers feeling? They okay? So I've just told her that they are special knickers. I didn't want to use the NAPP word they are knickers we're telling her they're knickers so hopefully that registers in our mind as i mentioned i was waiting for a couple of bits to turn up for isla's out and about potty training i have now got some potty training pants i've got quite a few of these now a few different brands so i've got these pepper pig ones from tesco's i actually found them hanging up by the nappies i got some from jojo mama and bb and from my carry potty now these are like your normal knickers or your normal pants except they are just thicker lined at the bottom this one's got a bit of towel in there they are not going to catch a lot of wee but they do catch a little bit of dribble um, if they have a very slight accident in these then they're going to catch them so they are handy to just be out and about just in case <laughs> You know they need to go to the potty and you just don't get it out in time it's going to catch a little bit and they're just a bit thicker and a bit more durable for accidents rather than your standard knickers and they're not going to confuse them like wearing an actual uh, nappy or cloth nappy so these are great for out and about and then i got my carry potty or my travel potty here this is one from my carry potty and i absolutely love the design because Isla is going to love this little kitty cat and it's pink. It's very lightweight and it just opens up like that and they can go to the potty there. I think that's absolutely fantastic. This is gonna stay in a car for when we're out and about and then we can just tuck it under the pram. It's so lightweight, you can just hook it on. I think that's really gorgeous. Everybody recommends these carry potties and I can't wait to start going out and about now, just taking this out and then hopefully everything goes smoothly so i thought it would be a good idea to get isla used to this potty before we started taking it out and about because you know what toddlers are like if i told her we need to go potty and i got that out and she hadn't seen it for the first time she may freak out going on it but i showed her when we got in and she's absolutely loves it and she went straight for a wee wee on it and now she wants it to be next to her do you want to put this on the floor your potty on the floor isla mm. no do you want to stay here? Oh. 
So we are off out for our first activity day, nappy free. We are going to Jump Street. Little apprehensive about how it's going to go. She started off all right this morning, like she told me when she needed a poo. When she woke up this morning, she wasn't a nappy, but she still told me we went to the toilet. So I feel like she's on the ball today. So fingers crossed it will be absolutely fine taking a lot of extra precautions with me i don't know how much i'm going to need so i've got a couple of microfiber cloths some of our puppy pads i'm taking a load of her nappy training pants lots of extra clothes i'm also going to take her reusable cloth nappy that i mentioned when we went out to tesco's with it absolutely fine she didn't tell me she needed a toilet but she didn't go in it either and then when we got back straight away she went to the potty and had a poo in a wee so i feel like it's a different enough for her to um like get used to not wearing a nappy so she thinks she's wearing knickers but it also would have held any accidents so i may when she's actually jumping at jump street i may cheat a little bit again and put her in that just because you know it's just really unhygienic and there's going to be loads of kids if she has an accident i know obviously i've got to tackle it soft play anything like that it's going to be a bit of a mission but i feel like yeah i feel like maybe i might do that let's see how we go i will update you what have you got? What is it? Potty. And where, when you need wee wees and poo poos, where are you going to go wee wees and poo poos? There. In there. You're going to tell mummy and we're going to sit on it and do wee wees and poo poos when we're out and about? Yeah? little tip and this is something that never even crossed my mind when it came to potty training and you know being out and about and that is the shoe situation so I love majority of her shoes are material and when they have accidents obviously they're gonna get wet so think about taking a spare pair of shoes out with you as well and what we do is basically I've been putting her in wellies um, the majority of the time now so we're going out in wellies at the moment if it's summer flip-flops might be a uh, better substitute because at least they're you know water resistant and wipe clean so yeah it's just something that never crossed my mind like there's always something in these processes that I just don't even think about and the shoe one was definitely one for me so if you're going out and about just remember to take a extra pair of shoes because you always think about leggings and pants and socks but when it comes to shoes you just don't think about it so if you watched my mum hack video i'll link it up below and down in the description box then you'll know that one of my like must do hacks is to keep a backup box in the boot of your car for when you're out and about and i've adapted this over the years so when she was a newborn it had like and a spare baby grow nappies dummies formula and a bottle and then when she weaning it had extra snacks and always a you know spare pair of clothes and just as they grow in and the situation you're in really so now she's potty training i'm just adding a few extra bits in here so potty training rise obviously i've got i've got the spare pair of clothes but i've also gonna put some spare knickers in there um a couple more socks just because you know they tend to wear they wear on their feet i've got like, nappy bags because nappies and wet clothes really um a reusable wipe just to wipe it down in case we have an accident i have got a couple of nappies in there just in case um depending on the situation if we're coming back late at night and we're gonna put her straight to bed and she falls asleep in the car seat i'll put a nappy on her just so i can like transition if we're like at family events or something like that so it's always handy to have a nappy because i'm tending not to really pack them when we go out anymore um I've put quite a few puppy training pads in there as well, just in case she has an accident in the car seat. It's just logical to have the backups. These are the ones I've pre-cut so they can go over the car seat or if we're out and about really. Um, so yeah, so I'm just adding puppy training pads and knickers to it really, um, just as a, you know, 
a, a backup i think it's really handy to have one of these in the boot of your car highly recommend that you do it whatever stage your baby's at and then i posted this potty on instagram and a lot of people were like what do you do with the wee because we were out at tesco's um, we were doing our food shop and we got right to like the farthest corner at the end and i was like i need a wee and i thought well i don't know if we we're gonna make it to the toilet um so i had this potty anyway so i kind of squatted it in the corner and let her go on the potty and it worked really really well but people were like what do you do with the wee but it, it locks so once that's locked that the wee ain't coming out like it, that's so handy like this is the best thing we've had for potty training it's just really easy to take it out and about with you you can lock your wee up so you don't have to worry about discarding it after the wee it's quite like compact and uh nice to carry really so i just thought i'd mention that so it has been a while from this clip since my last clip and i've got to say that actually her potty training out and about is pretty good she seems to be quite on the ball when we go out and about we're taking this into pubs the soft plays to jump street just you know any kind of situation really and she's quite on the ball and says mommy i need a wee and we just get that out plonk her on she wees and that's absolutely fine so i do find that the worst situation for us in the whole potty training journey at the moment is if she's distracted so if she's into something like she's got friends around playing or we're doing an activity together she doesn't like to tell me because um yeah because she uh, doesn't want to miss out i think she gets like she gets a bit of fomo and she feels like she has has to be taken away from a situation she has accidents but yeah put your train out and about it's actually been one of the less sexual less stressful situations and i thought it was going to be quite a hard one to tackle but as long as you're prepared you go out with lots of backups of change your clothes you've got something like a travel potty with you then you're gonna do all right really i don't think you're gonna have much of a problem also i think i mentioned in one of my day in the life vlogs but i will mention it here isla actually got a bladder infection um a few weeks into our potty training journey now i thought that she was just going through a bit of a regression which is completely normal completely understandable i was kind of prepared that might be the case but she was at nursery and then when i picked her up they said to me do you think she can have a bladder infection and i was like well, it never actually crossed my mind and they were like well she's just weeing quite frequently like every 10 minutes and it's just little dribble wheeze and it's quite a strong smelling wee and i was like okay and um, she had mentioned like a, a day or so before that that her tummy was hurting but i just thought that might be down to her allergies um her dairy allergies she sometimes moans that her stomach's hurting and then she started saying that her ninny was hurting as well so i was like okay maybe um yeah it is stinging her when she's weeing so i um spoke to a doctor we did a dip test and she got put on all antibiotics for um basically a urine infection which yeah completely threw me obviously that kind of wobbled the journey a bit but she got back in track after that we just carried on doing what we were doing um she finished her antibiotics and she was absolutely fine so i hope you enjoyed this video and you found it somewhat helpful i will link all the products down below that i've mentioned in this video Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can go find me over on Instagram at leonie.parker. And I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.